our globe has a problem. Due to, among other things, all the petrol and diesel fueled engines, the average temperature on Earth is rising, causing tremendous problems for millions and millions of people. The new system works fine. Ever since we started throwing food waste in separate containers, one feels more satisfied knowing it's coming to use for the common good. For my staff, this system has brought new motivation into recycling. Incredible as it may seem, from common food waste such as banana peel or half-eaten fruit, it's possible to extract a gas. This gas can be used as fuel in buses, trucks or cars. There are even trains and ferries that run on it. The gas is called methane. Methane extracted from the depths of the earth is called natural gas. But if the origin of your methane is food waste or sewage, it's called biogas, and that is the best engine fuel on earth. You will now see the chain from food waste to biogas starting in a Stockholm hospital. In the ward, staff and patients throw their food waste in special containers. The reusable box is then transported to a garbage room where it stays until picked up by a garbage truck. Before seeing what happens next, let's take a look at how things work in the kitchen. In the restaurant kitchen, staff throw ingredients not used for cooking in the same kind of plastic box or in larger garbage bin specially designed for food waste. In the restaurant, the guests also contribute to recycling. And, just as in the ward, the clearer the instructions, the better the result. There are two possibilities for the next part of the chain. Either the box from the ward is emptied into a special garbage bin, which is then collected by a garbage truck built for food waste collection. Or, the content of the boxes are emptied into a food waste grinder. From the grinder, the fluid food waste, which is now mixed with water, passes to a tank, which is emptied by a garbage truck, specially built for fluid organic waste. In a common sewage plant with special equipment, the waste is treated and the biogas extracted. And after less than a month, it's been extracted, concentrated and is ready to fuel a bus or a car. What's left of the waste once the gas is extracted is the high quality fertilizer. And the most astonishing thing with biogas is that it doesn't add any new carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, which is great for the climate. But that's not all. Exhaust from biogas-fueled engines are much cleaner than diesel or petrol fumes, making city air less damaging to our airways. So if you can just put your food waste in separate containers, you're making it possible to lessen the greenhouse effect. And also, you're improving air quality in your own city. And the more of us that do so, the better the globe's condition, as well as your lungs and those of your children.